I'm the Calculus Professor and today I'll be talking to you about Taylor Series. In problem number 10, we'd like to find the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for the function f of x equals cosine of 2x. Then write the power series using summation notation. So first thing to remember is that if I have a Maclaurin series, then a, the center point of my series, is equal to zero. So, and when I'm trying to find any Taylor series, the way that I want to start is I want to write down the function. So I write down the function f of x, and I write that in this case that's cosine of 2x. Okay, so now that I've written down the function, let's take some derivatives of that function, and we get the first derivative is equal to, well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so we get negative sine of 2x times 2. Okay, uh, if we take the derivative of negative sine, then we get um, negative cosine of 2x times 2 squared. We get an extra 2 from the chain rule. Uh, if I take the third derivative, then I get uh, the derivative of negative cosine is sine. So I get sine of 2x times 2 cubed. And I think we start to get the idea here. Uh, let's write in, so we know that our a value in this case is 0. So let's figure out what is f of 0. What is f prime of 0? What's f double prime of 0? And what is f triple prime of 0? Well, if I plug in 0 for x here, I get cosine of 0, and cosine of 0 is 1. Here, I plug in 0 and I get sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0 times 2 is still 0 f double prime, I get uh, cosine of 0 is 1, and so I get negative 1 times 2 squared, or negative 2 quantity squared. Uh, f triple prime, I get what? This is 0, so I just get 0. But I'm starting to see a pattern here. The next one would give me a positive because the derivative, let me just write it in here, this is f quadruple prime of x would be cosine of 2x times 2 to the fourth. So f quadruple prime of 0 would be 1 times 2 to the fourth. So it would just be 2 to the fourth. So we see we get 1, 0, negative 2 squared, 0, 2 to the 4th, and then the next one would be 0. So we see the pattern. By the way, 1 could also be written as 2 to the 0, if that's helpful. Okay, so now let's remember how we write down a Taylor series. A Taylor series looks like this. f of x is equal to f at a over 0 factorial times x minus a to the 0th plus f prime of a over 1 factorial times x minus a to the 1st plus f double prime of a over 2 factorial times x minus a squared and so on. Now let's plug in what we know to help us here. So we get f of x is equal to f of a. Well, in that this case, since it's a Maclaurin series, we're talking about f of 0. f of 0 is 2 to the 0 or 1. So that's 1 over 0 factorial. Well, let me just write in for now 0 factorial. Then I get x minus a to the 0. So I'll just write that in for now, x minus a to the 0. All right. Uh, then I get f prime of a. 
or f prime of zero, which in this case is zero. So the second piece is just zero plus the third piece is f double prime of a, which is negative 2 squared. So let me write that in. This is negative 2 quantity squared over 2 factorial times x minus a. Well, what is a? Right here I wrote a, but I could have written 0. So it's x minus 0 squared. Uh, and then the next one is 0. Then the next one is plus 2 to the 4th over 4 factorial times x minus 0 to the 4th. How many actual positive terms do I have here? 1, 2, 3, and can we guess the 4th? I think we can. So the next one would be plus 0 and then plus 2, I'm sorry, okay, so let's be careful here. This one's positive, this one's negative. This one's positive, the next one is negative 2 to the 6th over 6 factorial times x minus 0 to the 6th. All right, so now we are ready to write down this Taylor series maybe in a little cleaner way. Let me write it here. So I get that f of x is equal to the first term, all of this, this is 1 over 1 times 1, so I just get 1. The second term is minus 4 over 2, so if you prefer, I could just write it as 2. So this is minus 2 times x minus 0 squared, or just 2x squared. Okay. Uh, the next one, I get 2 to the 4th uh, divided by 4 factorial uh, times x to the 4th. Uh, 2 to the 4th is otherwise known as 16. Uh, 4 factorial is 4 times 3 is 24. So 16 over 24 is what? Uh, 4, 4 over 6 or 2 thirds. So it's plus 2 thirds x cubed. All right. And then my last term here would be 2 to the 6th over 6 factorial times x to the 6th. So it's minus, what is 2 to the 6th? Uh, I suppose that that would be 64. Maybe I'll just write it this way to start out with. 64. And what is 6 factorial? Well, that's 24 times 5, which is 120, times 6 is uh, 720. 720 x, oh, I wrote an x cubed here. Should have been an x to the fourth, I'm sorry. So we should have x to the zero, x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, and so on. And we see the pattern. If I wanted to write this as a sum, I could say this is the sum in going from zero to infinity of, we see that it's alternating, so we can put in a negative 1 to the nth power because it goes positive, negative, positive, negative, and I make sure if n is 0, this gives me a positive first, and it does. So I get negative 1 to the n over, uh, well, it doesn't just, every term doesn't show up in terms of factorials. I get a 0 factorial, a 2 factorial, a 4 factorial, a 6 factorial, and so on. So really what I want is 2 in quantity factorial. Similar for the x, the x, the x to the first, the x to the third, the x to the fifth, those don't show up. So I want x to the 2 in and we are done. So this would be my power series written as summation notation. This is written just the first four terms.